In the last episode, I made this cool looking starter house, got a level 30 enchanting table, and managed to find a bunch of rare structures all on accident. It was an amazing start to the world. But today, I continue my hardcore journey by building an awesome enchanting cave, that way I can work towards getting full enchanted diamond armor. I did a bit of work in between episodes. Somehow I managed to get even more bees, and I also got a ton of food from my cows. I also tried searching for my first ever wooden pickaxe that I accidentally lost last episode, but I couldn't find it, so instead I built this, in memory of the first pickaxe. But as I was doing that though, I had an idea. There's this little cave right here underneath my house, and I thought it would be the perfect spot to put my enchanting table. But before we do that though, I need to get some better enchantments on this pickaxe. I have more than 30 levels right now, so I'm gonna quickly disenchant this and try for something better. Oh my gosh, I keep getting unlucky. <laughs> Let's try again. Ooh, that's pretty good. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 4, and Silk Touch. Now I can finally start working on this cave. I was thinking that right here would be kind of the entrance way, and then as we go further into the cave, it would branch off into something else. And this right here is going to be a good spot for the cave to branch off. I'm so glad I got Efficiency 4 on my pickaxe, because this is going to make things go way faster. Oh, and I have Silk Touch, so I can actually get stone now. Wow, I cannot believe how fast Efficiency 4 is. It's crazy. This cave's going to be done in no time. Well, that was fast. Here's the rough outline of the enchanting cave, and now I need to go get some blocks. Since I want to be transforming this into kind of a lush cave, and I also want some dripstone stuff, I also want some mossy cobblestone, so we're gonna have to gather up quite a bit of stuff. Luckily, I live right next to a dripstone cave, so getting all the dripstone stuff should be pretty easy. Just a little bit more, and I should be good. Now I have to find a lush cave, but luckily I know exactly where one is. It's all the way back at spawn. Oh, here it is. It's an exposed lush cave. That wasn't hard to find at all. Now, what I need is some of these glowberries, and also a bunch of this moss. Wait a second, this lush cave is tiny. I think I have to go to the bigger one by spawn. It should be just over in this direction. Yep, I'm already seeing some exposed stuff. I'm also gonna need some of these. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. It's amazing. Yeah, look at this. We're back at the giant exposed lush cave. Okay, this is perfect. Gonna get lots of glowberries, lots of these large drip leaves, and some of the small drip leaves. Wait, how do you collect the small drip leaves? All right, I'm venturing deeper into the cave. Oh my gosh, is that a geode? It is. Oh, I think there's zombies inside though. Oh yes, there's zombies. So that's perfect. I actually wasn't even planning on finding this, but I can probably use this in the cave. These amethyst buds would look pretty cool, I think. But I'm after these small drip leaves. Can I mine these with silk touch? I can't. How do you get these? Do you need shears or something? I have no idea, but I'm venturing deeper into the cave to find out. Okay, we're down at deep slate level. Okay, perfect. I found some tough. I'm also gonna need this too. All right, I've gathered up everything I need from the lush cave down here, so it's time to head back. Oh wait, I'm also gonna need some vines. Do you need shears to mine these? You need shears. Okay, luckily there's tons of iron right here. I'm gonna have to mine it with my iron pickaxe though. And there's some coal right here too. Oh, but I don't have any wood, so I have to go back to the surface. Okay, that was fast. I'm already here. And I can gather up a little bit of wood, turn it into a crafting table, and then I can make myself a quick furnace and smelt up this iron. All right, I have two iron, enough to make some shears. And let's see, can I get this small drip leaf with shears? Please. I can. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go around and collect some of this stuff. Looks like there's a lot more down here. And while I'm at it, I can also get some vines too. Oh god, a creeper. Oh, my gosh, that was close. I need to pay more attention. I hate being down here in the caves with just iron armor. It's so scary. And plus, everything down here in the caves is already green, so the creepers really blend in. I thought the lush caves were supposed to be peaceful. Why is it so scary down here? Okay, I can't really find much more, so I think eight small drip leaf is gonna have to do. Oh, another creeper! And there's more creepers! Oh my god! <laughs> Why are there, it's just all creepers, it's crazy. <gasps> An axolotl, hello friend. I should bring you back to the cave. Boop. The cutest predator. That's a cool advancement. And I'm gonna make my way home real quick and drop off all my stuff. Wait a second. I think I just saw some more small drip leaf. Looks like it's being guarded by a ton of mobs though. Let's see. I might be able to just grab it and run away. Okay, run away, run away, run away. Ah! Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I did it. I got the small drip leaf. All right, I'm back home. Time to drop off all of my stuff. After all that, I only got 10 small drip leaf. That's crazy. But I did get a bunch of cool amethyst stuff though. Now the next thing I'm gonna need is a bunch of andesite because I'm gonna use it for texturing. Luckily, I live pretty close to that giant open cave, and there should be a ton of andesite there, coupled with my efficiency 4 pickaxe, and it should be really easy to gather up. I just tried to MLG water on leaves with my axolotl, and this happened. <laughs> it just went inside of the leaves. It's so weird. <laughs> 
Luckily, it didn't die, though. All right, I'm down here in the giant cave, and I already see a ton of andesite. Nice. Gathering this stuff up is going to be a breeze. And there we go, four and a half stacks of andesite. It really was that easy. And I think that should be the last ingredient that I need. All right, now that I'm back, I'm going to grab my stone cutter real quick, as well as all of my stone and my deep slate. And the first thing that I'm going to do is start texturing the walls of the cave. I'm going to start at the top with stone bricks, then I'm going to move into stone and andesite, then I'm going to transition into some tough and deep slate. That way we can make it go from a light to dark gray. I think it'll look kind of cool. All right, here's the progress so far. I'm starting to blend some of the darker blocks up into some lighter colors, but I realized I want to use some mossy cobblestone. I got all of these vines right here, but it's not going to be enough. So real quick, I'm going to have to make a vine farm. It's not going to be anything too fancy, and I think I'm just going to tower up here with some dirt and then go across like this. Then I'll just drape the vines going down like this, and there's our quick and easy vine farm. Should I MLG axolotl? back to work texturing this. All right, here's the progress, and I think it's turning out really good. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this yet, but I might eventually add some water down here because I feel like that would make it look a little bit cooler. But now I just have the roof left to detail, and then after that, we can add some dripstone and some lush cave stuff. I think this build's going to turn out really cool, but let's go check on that makeshift vine farm. Oh, it looks like it's producing a little bit, and instead of using them right away, I think I'm just going to go ahead and replant them. That way, the farm can hopefully start to go a lot faster, but it's back to detailing, and here it is with all the stone texture texturing done, but it does look quite empty right now. It definitely needs some dripstone and it needs some moss, so that's the next step. Luckily, I have all this stuff right here with me, and also it looks pretty blocky too, so I'm definitely going to need to make some slabs. A bunch of andesite slabs, a bunch of stone slabs, some stone brick slabs. Can you make dripstone block slabs? No. And some cobbled deep slate slabs. So that way when I'm working on the moss and the dripstone stuff, I can also kind of place these around too. And also as I'm working on this, I can go ahead and gather up all the vines that my vine farm has been making. Making. Let's see, can I vine clutch? But let's get back to work texturing. I cleared out all the areas that I want to put the moss, and it's going to go all around here. On second thought, I'm actually not going to have enough moss. So I'm going to head down into the caves here, and I'm going to place my moss like this, and I'm going to bone meal it so I can... Oh my god, that actually... Why did that scare me so much? It's just a single zombie, and I got terribly jump scared. This might not be the best spot to do this, to be honest. Why are there so many zombies? There's a creeper over there too. Ah, I'm on fire. Luckily, I have my axolotl to put me out. I need to mine up this moss and get out of here. All right, I have just about a stack of moss. That should be fine for now. If I have to get more, I'll do it somewhere else. Definitely not going back down there until I have my enchanted armor. Okay, look at that. It's slowly coming to life. After quite a while, it's all done. It looks way better now that I added all the dripstone and all the lush cave stuff. But now the only thing I have left to do is bring my enchanting table in here and then turn this into an enchanting cave. Oh wait, I forgot about these drip leaves. Oh, and the amethyst. Okay, I'm going to add these real quick. All right, the small drip leaves are going to go over here, and I'm also going to put some big drip leaves. And then for the spore blossom, I'm going to put it right here. Now it's all done. It definitely looks a little more complete now. All right, now it's time to relocate my enchanting table. Now right here in the center, I'm going to put the enchanting table on top of some walls like this. Is that in the center? Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then around the outside, I'm going to add all the bookshelves. But first I have to grab some wood, and I'm also going to be hanging the bookshelves from some chains, so I need to grab some iron too. Is this how you craft a chain? Oh, it is. Okay, cool. I'm going to need quite a few chains. Luckily, I have loads of iron. All right, over a stack of chains. That should be enough. Let's turn these all back into bookshelves. And I'm definitely going to be needing more than 19. But luckily, I have tons of sugarcane and also tons of leather. All right, 33 should definitely be enough. Oh, wait, I'm also going to need some lanterns. Time to waste even more iron, but it's going to be worth it because lanterns look amazing. All right, now first thing is to start hanging some of these bookshelves. I'm going to put two like this right here, and I'm kind of just going to hang them all around the enchanted table until I eventually get to level 30. And here it is. It looks so cool. I really like how it turned out. Right here in the center, I have my enchanting table on its pedestal. And then all around the outside, I have floating bookshelves. And I also put some in the back right here to kind of give it some depth and just to make it look cool. Then I added a bunch of hanging lanterns around here. I have my hanging barrel right here where I'll put my lapis. I have a grindstone right on top. And then over here, since you can't really hang anvils, I have an anvil just balanced against this trap door. That way it kind of looks like it's hanging. And here it is, our complete Complete enchanting cave. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and if I should change anything. Oh wait, I should add some water down here. That would definitely look a lot better. And I can also add my axolotl down there too. All right, looks like our axolotl friend is happy. And there we go. I think that looks a lot better. And hold on, I didn't even check. Is this level 30? Okay, it is. Whew. But now I want to go find some diamonds because I want to work towards getting full enchanted diamond armor. And since I don't have fortune on my pickaxe, I don't think I want to mine for diamonds. Instead, I'm going to go to one of these ancient cities. It might be a little dangerous, but since we have swift sneak, I can get around 
around a lot quicker. Usually in the ancient cities, there's lots of diamond gear, so I might be able to get myself a second diamond pickaxe. Because then if I do, I can put a fortune on it, and then we can go mining for diamonds. Every time I come back here, there seems to be even more bees. What is happening? Well, at least they're all thriving and they're not dying. All right, before we go down to the ancient city, I need to repair all of my tools, because look at this. They're all almost dead. This is all the iron I have left, so I better get some diamond stuff soon. And I'll also stock up on some more food, and I'm finally ready to go. The ancient city should be just down here in this giant cave. I think it's just down here, is it? Yep, here it is. Okay, I found it. Okay, here's the ancient city. I'm gonna break this shrieker first, and I'm gonna carefully make my way down here. Oh gosh, I accidentally activated a shrieker. Oh god. Okay, I've activated two shriekers so far, so that means the next one will probably summon the warden. What's in here? Really? Only snowballs and ice? Okay, well, it's not too bad, because I can use the snowballs to distract the warden. Alright, so there's basically no way for me to open this chest without activating shriekers, so I think I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my god, two god apples, and unbreaking three and mending leggings? Oh my gosh. Yep, there's the warden. Okay, time to run. This is why Swift Sneak is amazing. Look at how fast I'm able to get away. And the warden's not even gonna know where I am. Oh, look at that, another chest. Look at the C3, that's amazing. And I just heard the warden despawn, finally. All right, I've made it to the center area, and there should be another chest right over here, right? All right, so let's go find this chest. Oh, there's so many shriekers, why? I think if I set another one off, it's gonna spawn again. Do I try to break the shriekers first? Okay, here goes nothing. Okay, the warden's spawning again. Um, there's a name tag right here, and I'm gonna leave. Uh, be distracted, be distracted. Wait, the snowballs actually worked? <laughs> Spending 100 days in the deep dark definitely made me not as scared of the warden. But trust me, I'm still terrified. Oh my gosh, there's so many shriekers. Okay, well, here comes another warden, I think. Now there's two wardens, and there should be a chest right here. Okay, nothing really important. I will take those echo shards, though, and the saddles are kind of useful, too. But what I'm looking for is diamond stuff. I'm not putting my life on the line just for saddles. All right, there's another one over here. I think this one has two chests, and it also has two shriekers. I should probably empty my inventory out first, and then I'm just going to loot the chest really fast and then run away. Three, two, one. Speed run, speed run, speed run. Oh my god, protection four. Loot this one now. Uh, curse of binding. I'll take the fortune three, and now I run away. Away. Be distracted, be distracted. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's chasing me. No, 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 no. This is so bad. I messed up really bad, guys. The warden's actually chasing me. And there's more shriekers going off. What am I doing? All right, I'm mining into here as fast as I can. I'm actually gonna place water and I'm gonna mine a one by one to go even faster. Because these things can shoot you from super far away. Okay, I think I'm safe. That was, whoa, no way. Another ancient city? Wait, what? <laughs> How? <laughs> this is terrible. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll go check this one out. Because the other one is littered with wardens. I'm totally gonna die doing this. What am I thinking? I just really want some diamond stuff. This is really dumb, but I'm also having a lot of fun. <laughs> I think I should probably leave. I've spawned, what, like six wardens now? All right, I'm not really sure where I came from, so I'm just gonna pillar straight up from here. And the lights can finally come back on, too, because I'm not running away from the warden now. But that actually was pretty successful. I got protection for diamond leggings and unbreaking three and men diamond leggings. If I combine these with my Swift Sneak 3 leggings, they'll be basically perfect. Wait a second, I actually don't want to leave just yet. I've only managed to get one diamond, and I want to get at least two more so I can make myself a fortune pickaxe. If I run around the ancient city like this, there's a pretty good chance that I'll find some diamond ore just on the ground. So for now, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, look at that, see? Exposed diamonds. And it's two! I have three diamond ore now. Okay, I can finally head home. Alright, so now I know there's at least three ancient cities directly underneath my house. But what I can do with this three diamond ore is place it down like this, and then mine it with a non-silk touch pickaxe, and then I can turn it into another diamond pickaxe, and I can try my luck at my brand new enchanting table. Okay, should I just do fortune two? You know what, since my enchanting luck has been so bad recently, I'm just gonna do it. Wow, and we got just fortune two. That's very unfortunate. I'm so sorry for the pun. <laughs> but I guess with my Fortune 2 pickaxe now, I can go down and get some more diamonds. And once I have three more diamonds, I'm going to try to come back to the surface and try to get another Fortune 2 pickaxe, and then I can combine them together and get Fortune 3. I don't know if I even want to go back to that ancient city. That was kind of scary. But then again, I also didn't really check on the floor of this one, so there might be some exposed diamonds. I'm going to try to be extremely careful this time and not spawn a single warden. Wait a second, are these diamonds? They are, look at that! I got three diamonds from one, that's amazing! All right, let's see. Are there any more diamonds? Oh, yes, there is. Oh, it's a lot of diamonds. And from that, I got five. All right, that's not amazing, but it's definitely enough to go back to the surface and try to get another pickaxe. All right, I just accidentally spawned a warden. That's amazing. And I don't know where I am, which is also amazing. Guys, I am actually lost. 
I've been running around this ancient city for 10 minutes and I can't find where I came from. Wait, I just remembered. I have my coordinate book and this marked the entrance of the city. Minus 440, minus 912. Okay, I need to go in that direction. I did it. I finally found my way home. Oh my gosh, I just realized I got two enchanted golden apples. I didn't really even comprehend that because there were so many wardens. That's insane. I should always have these in my hotbar in case I fall in lava or something. All right, let's craft another diamond pickaxe. And since I have two more diamonds, I might as well craft a diamond sword. I'm just shy of 30 levels, so I'm going to use my cows to get me up there real quick. And now I can try my luck for some enchantments. Okay, efficiency four. What kind of enchantment do I get on my sword? Okay, I definitely don't want knockback two, so I'm gonna try efficiency four. Please give me fortune. Oh, let's go, fortune three. Okay, awesome. So that means I can disenchant my fortune two pickaxe and I can try for something else. All right, unbreaking three, that's nothing too special. And I don't even have 30 levels right now. So instead I'm gonna go mining with my new fortune three pickaxe. Oh, I almost forgot about my leggings. I should try to combine these. Swift sneak three, unbreaking three, Mending and Protection 4. I think that's about as good as it gets. All right, we have our first piece of maxed out armor. Oh, and since I have Fortune 3, I can also stop by that iron vein that I left last episode and I can get the rest of the iron. That's gonna be so good since I'm kind of running low on iron right now. Yep, here it is. I'm gonna finish mining the rest of all this iron. Okay, there's still a bunch more iron, but honestly, I got over a stack and my inventory is already full. So I think I'm gonna have to come back for the rest of it, which is actually insane. But it's time to start mining for the stuff that I came down here for in the first place, and that's diamonds. So I'm gonna find a deep cave and I'm gonna start mining down from there. I want diamonds, not ancient cities. Okay, here's another ancient city. There's four ancient cities under my base. How? That's crazy. Oh, I already found some. All right, here's the bedrock. I'm gonna go one block higher and then I'm gonna start mining from there. I found some, finally! Wait a second, I'm in the deep dark right now. And, oh yep, yeah, okay, well. Okay, there's a warden spawning. Uh, I think I should definitely leave. This is terrible. I'm probably underneath an ancient city or something. I should definitely find a safer place to mine. This is way too scary. I don't know what it is, but there's just way too many ancient cities over here. I guess I'll go in this direction. All right, I've had a pretty successful mining trip, but I've accidentally spawned another warden. I think the warden's over here somewhere. Here it is. And I want to try to lure a mob towards it so it can kill it. I want to see if it works. I just have to try my best to not alert the warden to me. Okay, this is bad. This is so bad. There's so many zombies. All right, is it gonna attack? This is so dangerous. Okay, okay, okay. It noticed something. Hopefully not me. I wanna see it attack. Oh God, nope. Okay, I'm gonna leave. That experiment is too dangerous. <laughs> Oh, there's diamonds down there. I think I'm gonna place some water down and go check it out. I still hear the warden though. Hopefully it can't get to me down here. Yep, only one diamond. Okay, let's leave. Oh my God, more diamonds. Oh, that was so dangerous. I'm having a very chaotic mining trip right now. So I think I need to leave. I finally made it back to the surface. Oh my gosh. And I managed to get 16 deep slate diamond ore and two diamonds. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough for a full set of armor, but since we don't have to craft any leggings, I think it should be. And I really hope it is because I do not want to have to go back down in those caves. All right, let's see how many diamonds I can get from 16 diamond ore. I hope it's good. Okay, 28. That's not too bad. That's definitely enough for a full set of diamond armor. And there we go. I'm all kitted out. Full diamond armor but now i have to enchant this stuff i only have 13 levels right now and unfortunately i know a good place to get xp and the reason why i say unfortunately is because it's an ancient city you see all the skulk blocks in the ancient city you can mine those and it gives you xp so i'm gonna go back down to the ancient city one more time and see if getting xp from skulk blocks is worth it before i do that though look at this i have a ton of coal ore if i mine all this stuff up i should be able to get a bunch of xp so i'm gonna make a big tower going all the way up and i'm gonna to mine all of it. I wonder how much XP this will give me. I only got up to level 17. That was not as much as I was expecting, to be honest. But I did get a ton of coal. I still have a bunch of iron ore to mine up. This stuff doesn't give you XP when you mine it, but it does when you smelt it. Just over three stacks of iron. That's pretty good. Let's get this all smelting. And you know what? I should probably craft a blast furnace. All right. And I think you craft it like this. Blast furnace acquired. Oh yeah, look at it go. It's crazy fast. And while that's all smelting, I can go ahead and mine up the rest of my ore. Now let's mine up all the lapis. And finally, I'll mine up all my gold. While I'm waiting for that to all smelt up, I'm going to go ahead and craft the rest of my diamond tools. I have 11 diamonds. That's enough for a diamond axe and a diamond shovel. I already have a diamond hoe from the ancient city. And that's the diamond hoe I'm going to have to use to get some XP down in the ancient city. I hope it doesn't turn into a disaster down there. All right, everything is all smelted and I managed to get over four stacks of iron. That's insane. 
insane. But it still wasn't enough to get me to level 30. So I'm gonna have to head back down to the mines and into the deep dark so I can get some more XP. All right, deep dark, here I come. This time I have full diamond armor. All right, here it is. And this is what I'm talking about. If you mine this stuff, it gives you actually quite a bit of XP. I just have to be careful to not activate any shriekers. All right, I'm already at level 25. I'm basically almost there. All right, almost to level 30. And there we go. That was actually extremely easy. And I did it all without activating a single Shrieker. I'm honestly kind of proud of myself. All right, I'm back. And the first thing that I'm going to try for is some enchantments on my boots. Please, Feather Falling 4. Ooh, Protection 4. That's actually not too bad. And we got Death Strider 3. I'm going to craft another pair of diamond boots. And let's see, can I get Feather Falling? What about a book enchantment? Ooh, Power 4. Okay, so I guess it's back down to the ancient city to get some more XP. You know what? Right now, it takes quite a while to get down there. So I think I have an idea for a faster way. It involves lots of ladders and a single bucket of water. Now I'm going to grab my coordinate book real quick and I'm going to find the coordinates that I marked for the first ancient city. Except this time I'm going to go to them above ground first and it's right here. And now I'm going to mine a two wide hole all the way down and then I can use this to get up and down way faster because going through those caves and all that dripstone and dodging all the creepers and stuff it's too slow and definitely too dangerous. And here we are. All right now what I'm going to do is build a little box around all of this. Then I'll place some water right here and then on this side I'll go all the way back up with my ladders. Wait a second, this might not even be enough ladders. Yeah, I'm totally gonna run out. I just have to quickly run back home and get a bunch more sticks. All right, I got a bunch more sticks. Enough for two and a half stacks of ladders. That should be enough now. Okay, here's the hole. Oh gosh, okay, this, this better work. Oh my god, okay. I wasn't really ready to test it out right now, but I guess it works. All right, I'm almost to the top and there we go. Oh my god, that scares me every time. All right, let's get some more XP. And this can also be a convenient escape route in case I accidentally summon the warden again. All right, I'm almost there. There we go. I'm actually going to get a little bit more than 30. That way I can do at least two enchantments. Oh, my diamond hoe is looking pretty low. That's not good. I might have to loot the ancient city again to find another one. All right, I'm back again. And let's get that power four enchantment. This will be useful for a bow in the future. And let's try for some feather falling now. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. No other enchantments, but I'll take it. Feather falling four, finally. All right, it looks like a cost 10 to combine them and I'm gonna do it. Now what can I get on my other pieces? Looting too. That's actually not bad. Let's go back down to the ancient city and get some more XP. And since my hoe is so low, I'm gonna have to loot the ancient city just a bit more. Oh my gosh, efficiency four. Nice. All right, I'm gonna check around for some shriekers and then I'm gonna mine for some skulk. Okay, there's three shriekers right here and a chest. I think I'm just gonna do it. Ah, the warden's spawning. Wait, okay, I can't open the chest because it spawned right in front of the chest. Okay, um, I'm running away. It spawned right in front of the chest. What the heck? I was trying to open it, but the warden was just like, okay, I just heard it despawn. Let's go check out the chest. Hopefully it's not empty. Oh my God, it is. Seriously? I did all that work for just an empty chest? Okay, level 30. I'm going to go for three more levels and then I'm going to head home. Oh, hello. What are you selling, sir? Ooh, cactuses. Do I need that? I don't think I do, but I know what I do need, and that's two free leads. All right, let's see what I can get on my stuff. Looting two on my sword. Oh my gosh, and I got smite three. Okay, well, definitely disenchanting that. Let's try again. Sharpness three this time, and I got respiration three on my helmet. That might actually be good. Respiration three, please be other stuff. And protection three. Okay, that's not too bad. Looks like I need to do one more trip down to the ancient city, and I should have full enchanted diamond armor. I'm gonna try my luck with unbreaking three on my chest plate. Fire protection, Come on, let's try Unbreaking 3 on my axe. Okay, that's actually not bad. Okay, Unbreaking 3, I'm just gonna try it. Why, why, I don't want blast protection. <laughs> I want regular protection. I had high hopes, but I was disappointed. I'm gonna go down to the ancient city one more time. All right, I see two more chests over here. Oh my gosh, there are so many shriekers. Look at this. I'm just gonna have to loot the chests and then run away. I really need another hoe because mine accidentally broke. So first I'm gonna empty out my inventory. Oh my god. Let's go. Warden spawning. I got a hoe. Nice. Okay. He noticed me, but I think I can still get away. Oh my gosh. I got away. That was close, but it was worth it because I got another hoe. I didn't know that putting on my chest plate would activate the shrieker. I totally forgot about that. That was definitely an oversight on my part. And over here, there should be another chest. Another hoe. Oh, and it has mending. That's perfect. That means we'll never have to get another hoe. All right. Let's get my 33 levels and let's get out of here. I never have to worry about getting a new hoe ever again. Wait, all of the XP that I'm mining 
training is going straight to the hoe. I'm going to use the Unbreaking 3 one first, and then once we have enough levels, then I'll combine the two. Because right now, it looks like the Mending is stealing all of my XP, and we don't want that. All right, I'm back with 34 levels, and this better be the last time. I hope I can get something good on my chest plate. Why? Fire Protection 4? I don't want that. Oh my god, I'm never going to get a good enchantment on my chest plate, am I? It's just impossible. I'm just going to keep resetting until I get something good. Protection 4. Okay, I got it. I just need four more levels. I'll go down to the Ancient City one more time for Protection 4, because that is definitely worth it. All right, 34 levels this time, and let's head home. Okay, I'm back once again, and I can finally get Protection 4. Amazing! We didn't get anything else, but that's all that matters. I have Protection 4 on three of my armor pieces, and Protection 3 on my helmet. I think that's pretty good. Now, I do have enough levels for one more level 30 enchantment, so let's see. Oh, Sharpness 4! Okay, I'm doing it. Sharpness 4 and Fire Aspect. It's good enough for now. And there we go! I got full enchanted diamond armor and full enchanted diamond tools. This was an insanely productive episode, and I had so much fun making it. Running around in the ancient cities away from the warden was honestly super fun, even though it was pretty dangerous. But that's all from me today, guys. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye!